Okay, I want to uh, talk about um, strumming grooves. I've gotten some requests for um, how to strum or how to play rhythm guitar on acoustic. And so I'm going to start with the very basics. And what I want to talk about is uh, just a, the definition of the eighth note strum and the sixteenth note strum. And then I'll add to that, okay? So this um, the eighth note strum basically is going to be all downstrokes on the downbeats. So that would be one, two, three, four. And if you put eighth notes in there, you're going to strum up on the eight uh, on the upstroke as well. And those are the eighth notes. So it would be one and two and three and four. Okay. It's important to kind of keep your arm moving like a metronome. We're going to talk about this in the folk groove, um, the standard folk groove, how important it is to keep your arm moving in a consistent manner. Right now, it's not really going to come into play because we're just going to be talking about sixteenth notes and we're going to talk about uh, eighth notes. So this this groove. This pattern is just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now I put a little something in there, but out of habit. And you'll see that I'm I'm actually muting the bottom string when I play the D chord. So this is what it sounds like the sixth string. Um, some guys will even mute the A string. I'm trying not to hit the A string when I strum on the D chord. If I do, it's okay because A is part of a D chord. The notes in a D chord are, are D, F sharp, and A. So it's technically part of it, but I really don't necessarily want a D over A chord there. I want a pure D. So I, I'm really trying just to hit the D string, but if I occasionally hit the A string, that's okay. Coming back to C. And again, I'm muting, muting the sixth string with my thumb. Okay? Now, um, so an eighth note pattern might be like this. It could be um, one, two, three. Actually, I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, but I'm only hitting the strings every other up. And that's pretty obvious, I think. But see, I'm coming up here, and then I'm hitting the strings on that one. So on one, I'm hitting just down, one, and then on the up, I'm hitting nothing, and then on two, I'm hitting down and up, and on three, I'm hitting down but not up, and four, I'm hitting down and up, and it sounds like this. If I did maybe the opposite of that or kind of invert that a little bit and go one and two, three and four, it's going to be like jingle bells or something. But Down, up, down, down, up, down, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. Okay? So those are some eighth note patterns. You can do things like uh, one two and three and four and would just sound like this. Okay, you could do um, one and two, three, four and would sound like this. Okay, there's basically 16 variations on that. Um, now we're gonna talk about 16th notes. Here we're going to, in, instead of do just downstrokes on one, two, three, four, on the downbeats, we're going to do um, downstrokes on the downbeats and the upbeats. So we're going to strum down on one, two, th or one and two, and three, and four, and. And so that means if we're doing that, it's like if the same tempo, it's going to feel twice as fast. Okay? Tempo can change. If it's a very slow tempo, At a faster tempo, it's going to be more of a rock kind of.
I've got all those upstrokes that I'm not using. Now I can start throwing some of those in there and you get things like this. So, um, you can see where I did one was one of the ways I, I did that was, uh, and we're gonna count sixteenth notes as one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, and one of those patterns I did just a second ago was one E and a two. It's all very confusing, but it's one E and a two and a three E and four and one E and a two and a three E and four and one E and a two. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Okay, so that's uh. That's lesson one in strumming patterns. We're going to get to, um, uh, we're going to talk about uh, standard folk grooves next, and um, I hope, hope you can uh, understand this. I'm in tune, so you can, you can strum along with me pretty close to standard tuning here. Okay. Until next time, God bless. Thanks.